What's up everyone? I'm recording this video on Sunday, October 3rd, 2021, and it's 1.30 in the afternoon. It's 73 Fahrenheit, 23 Celsius. And I'm on the train, the Metro North to the Croton Harmon train station. Here we've got great views of the Hudson River. One of the best views you can get just from the train. The Metro North Hudson Line runs pretty much up the edge of the Hudson River. I took this train from Grand Central Terminal and this entire trip took about an hour to get to, uh, to Croton Harmon. And it costs eleven dollars and twenty-five cents. A little bit bumpy in this section. I know the uh, transit agency has some problems when the um, remnants of Hurricane Ida came through and caused a lot of rain. So I'm actually here for a special event today, the Great Jack-O-Lantern Blaze. And I've been here once before, four years ago. I made a video about it. Basically, these incredible artists carve out probably hundreds, if not thousands, of pumpkins and light them all up into different kinds of shapes. I'll have that in a separate video, but in this video, I'll be walking around the Croton on Hudson um, village. I'll tell you a little bit more about it once I uh, get out of the train station. Not a full train at all. This is the last stop. Most people already got off earlier. All right. So it looks like I have to go up the stairs in order to exit. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go up the stairs and then cross over that way. So I'll tell you a little bit about Croton on Hudson. That's the uh, village's name, not Croton Harmon. It was called, it's called Croton Harmon because there's this guy named uh, Clifford Harmon. He was a realtor who purchased land and he donated part of the land to the railroad at the time. But one of the uh, stipulations was that 
he wanted the railroad to forever honor his name, so that's why it's Croton Harmon. It's a little bit warm in here. Glad I'm not doing this in uh, 90 degree weather and it'll probably be like a greenhouse in here. But basically the uh, Algonquin Native Americans first settled the area and they uh, negotiated a peace treaty with the Dutch at Croton Point in 1645. I think uh, Croton may be a Native American word. Here's the uh, parking lot. For the park and ride. But it was actually Stevenus Van Cortland who uh, first really uh, started developing this area. He started acquiring land in uh, 1677. That was the same year he became mayor of New York City. And he's the first uh, native born mayor of New York City, Stevenus Van Cortland. He's the uh, same person that Van Cortland Park is named after. And I forgot to tell you, this uh, jack-o'-lantern blaze that I'm attending at 7 o'clock at night today is part of the Van Cortlandt Manor, which he uh, built. This village is also known for the Croton Aqueduct System. In the mid to late 1800s, the Croton Dam was built. And if I were to walk uh, from here to the dam, it would take about an hour. And I don't think I'll go to the dam today. I've been to the dam uh, multiple times already. You could even see it on my channel in the, the history. But it's incredible. It has a huge waterfall and you get to see where New York City gets its water or part of its water. Now New York City has multiple sources for their water from upstate New York. But the Croton Dam became uh, insufficient for New York City's needs and then the new Croton Dam was built. The old dam was sunk and submerged underneath the, uh, the new dam. I think about 34 feet, that's what they said. There's a little less than 8,100 people that live here, I think according to the latest census. Many of these uh, riverside communities are named on Hudson. Like there was a stop on the Metro North called, called Ardsley on Hudson. And this one is Croton on Hudson. Now that train pulling in right now is another Metro North train. I could have taken that one from Grand Central Terminal. That one is an express train. It goes from uh, Grand Central Terminal to Harlem 125th Street. And then I think the next stop after that is Tarrytown and then Croton Harmon. So only three stops to get here, but I took the local train because that one arrived first. Sure, it takes a long time to walk out of this parking lot area. The Van Cortland uh, Manor, by the way, is straight ahead and then over to the right. That's where I'll be going later on, but 
This time I'll be walking on Riverside Avenue through the downtown. I believe the autumn time to be the best time to come to these uh, Hudson River waterfront communities, especially when the leaves start changing. Right now it hasn't changed that much. Most of the trees are still green, but come back in a few weeks, it'll look a lot nicer. Well, it's also a really nice area to go and visit over here is the Croton Point Park over to my left. If I were to walk from here to the end of Croton and Point Park, it would take about 20 minutes. So maybe I'll head over there if I have some time, but I want to check out the downtown first. It's a beautiful waterfront park there. Oh, cool. The Green Growler craft beer. Yeah, I'm on the left side. Neat little neighborhood shop. Beautiful uh, river walk here, the Westchester River Walk. I actually thought about bringing my bicycle onto the Metro North train may have made it a little bit easier but since i'm attending that event later on i don't want to have to worry about a bicycle and pushing it through and having someone steal it Look at this. There's a sign up there for the Jack O' Lantern Blaze fall evening at Van Cortlandt Manor. Doesn't even say anything. Mm. You've got Giovanni's Italian American delicatessen. I think this village gets most of their traffic during this time when they have the event going on.
It also shocks me how busy this village is with cars. You would think with only about 8,000 people who live here that it would be a lot more quiet, but I guess a lot of the traffic is for the event. I gave myself plenty of time. It's around uh, 1.45 p.m., so it's in another five hours or so. It'll give me time to get something to eat here, relax, maybe even do another video before I attend the, uh, the event. Okay. I haven't seen one walking signal yet. Let's just see what happens. Well, at least it says something if you hold it down. Very quiet though. And even this side. Unbelievably quiet. This is the same way you take to uh, go up to the Croton Dam as well. Here's an Italian restaurant, Eat Italia on Hudson. They have their own parking lot here. All right, now we're getting a little bit more to see of the village proper. Cute little places, baked by Susan. I like that drape over there, village of Croton on Hudson. Let's hope this is louder. Yeah, they really need to have a better announcer or raise the volume on it, either or. All right, so this I definitely remember from four years ago, this section of the uh, main part of Croton on Hudson, Croton Harmon Music Academy. The Westchester Balloon Company, wow. Very neat.
I think I remember when I came here last time I ate at this deli, the Harmon Deli. Maybe I'll have to do that again when I finish this walk. Japanese restaurant. Sushi Samurai, best sushi and hibachi. Not too, too many de Halloween decorations yet. There is one business that put up a skeleton on their window. There's one place which is really known for their Halloween decorations that's close by to here, and that's Sleepy Hollow. Famous for the book by Washington Irving. That Capriccio restaurant looks busy. And I think I ran out of sidewalk, so we do have to cross the street. Family owned pizzeria. I think I may have to come here later on. Maracas Mexican Grill and Bar. Here's the Croton Professional Building. There will be more shops coming up very shortly. I think maybe I should have brought my bicycle. <laughs> Would have been able to cover more ground here. But it's a good uh, FYI for those people watching who think that you can just walk to the main area of Croton Harmon or go up to the Croton Dam, that you can walk there. It'll take a little bit of time. So probably better to get a car service from the train station instead.
Well, isn't this a random bench? Looks a little lopsided too. lake over here. Very pretty. Oh, there's turtles over there. Gorgeous area. Here's the Croton Colonial Restaurant and Diner. Also, they decorate their windows. Open from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Another place I'll consider going to to eat. So this is the area where I need to head up this way. This is uh, Maple Avenue. Village Custom Cuts Hair Salon, Asagao Sushi, a mini deli, that's pretty unique, and a Chinese restaurant with Thai food available. We got the Croton Commons across the street from me, a little strip mall. I spot a cute little bagel shop called Bagels on Hudson. Capriccio number two pizzeria, in case the first one was too busy. It's an Indian restaurant here too, Raga.
cute little store in the corner there called the Apple Farm. Also the U.S. Post Office is here. The Desertorist. Desertus. <laughs> like the name of that place. Here's Westchester County, bus number 14. Doesn't come that frequently. Cupcakes, cookies, cake pops, and more. I'd like to walk up to Grand Street near the old post road. There's a lot more commercial activity there too. There's a lot of charming little homes here. Most of them single story. There's a Westchester craft crawl going on today on the weekend. See if we could find it up here. This too will pass. I love the wheels here for this home.
Love the red chairs that this house has. Matches the red house with the giant tree. But we're getting some Halloween decorations. Got some scarecrows over there. Some, uh, I guess there'll be ghosts on the windows. We're almost to Grand Streets and the uh, old post road. We can make it out up there. This is a pretty large structure across the street from me, 105 and 107 Maple Avenue. Of this greenhouse. All right. So we have a sign finally that'll tell us a little bit more information where to go. Opera Village to the left, Municipal Building, Police to the left, Library, Sports Field, and the Croton Dam. Here's the blue pig. Let's cross over and check the uh, blue pig out. Locally sourced ice cream at the blue pig. Really neat. They even have a little cardboard cutout you could uh, get pictures in. Okay, the Asbury United Methodist Church. This is the upper village now.
Happy Hearts on the Hudson, only spot for your special tot. Also, cool they have little Halloween decorations like this. Beautiful village park over to the left. Frankie's Grill. Breakfast, lunch, hot and cold sandwiches. Fratelli's Trattoria. Let's take a look at their menu. Fratelli's. The Black Cow Coffee Roasters, established 1995. Croton Corners Grand Opening. Cool little dessert spot. Up the village blooms. Junction Food Market. Croton Oktoberfest. Looks like I just uh, came at the right moment for the Oktoberfest. Here's Hunan Wok, Chinese restaurant. And the Tapsmith Beer, Wine and Cider. Pretty chill place. It's even an outdoor bar. Margarita, pepperoni. Smells so good. This is cool. <laughs> the Croton Scarecrow Contest. There's also several open houses you can look at. Some nice homes here. Austining, Croton on Hudson, Cortland Manor, all located in the Hudson Valley area of New York.
think I'll end this video at the village hall. Just coming up right over there. Oh wow, we gotta check out this house for all the decorations. It's pretty incredible. Unbelievable. Wow. I don't think anyone's more prepared for Halloween than these people over here. Goodness. Now we got some spiders. Salem Bloom Company. Got some nice decorations here too. Nice bench. And here's the Croton Fire Departments. Nineteen seventy five, erected in memory of deceased member of the Croton Fire Department. And uh, this is where I'll be ending my video of Croton on Hudson. If you enjoyed it, then please smash the like button for me. Subscribe for some more videos like these. And I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.